I strongly believe that there's something to be said, kind of like the relationship that we have with one another, with our environment, with the universe. And to me, those are things that I cannot express freely with words, so I use visual language to express those things. Art is supposed to be a language, so if somebody's connected to my work, it's like we're having like a good conversation, basically. I think my work is like a mix of like digital surrealism. All my career, like my biggest goal was to be seen as an artist because the reality is like I'm not really good at commercial work, but I'm really good at executing what I like to execute and like putting my ideas out, out there. I had been working in traditional mediums, oil painting and drawing primarily, but I always dabbled with digital art, but I never pursued it seriously. It felt like the only way to have success as a digital artist was to either sell prints of your work, do commissions for brands, or to work in the film industry. And none of those options were appealing to me. But with NFTs, it kind of created an even playing field with the traditional art world where suddenly there's a way of monetizing the craft. Necessity of like having to work for somebody was like out of the picture and our brains can now be focused on like, okay, now I have the resources and the time to focus completely on building what I always wanted to build for years and years, you know? I don't need to do anything for anybody. Like I, I'm just doing me and people still support it, which is insane. Having proof of ownership, uh, digital transparency, Having royalties embedded in the NFTs is really a game changer so that artists can continue making passive income beyond the initial sale. If I sell it one NFT and it gets resold, I get a percentage, I get a royalty of each sales, which is the biggest game changer for musicians and artists and anyone. And you get paid during you, you sleep basically because if someone trades your art during the sleep you might get a small percentage of the art you did which is pretty important. Before I entered the NFT space I didn't know very much about crypto at all. I wasn't really interested in it but I was in it for the art. There was a, a bit of a learning curve but now that I have that knowledge it's I can't unsee it. So the first one was a one-on-one, -on -one. It, it's called Rejuvenate, that's my Genesis uh, NFT and I, it was on Super Rare. Pretty crazy because like I minted it without any expectation and like I think for 18 hours there was no activity and I was like oh, okay at least I tried like it's like it's fine. At the end there was a bid war and it went to I think it went to 15 ETH which at that time was like five thousand six thousand dollars and it's crazy because a couple of years ago I wouldn't be able to say that I love my art but now it's so easy to say that I love what I'm doing and I love the art I'm putting out there. A NFT is, is uh, a medium that is very like suitable for people that care about their practice and they really work at it. They have patience to like build like a, a trajectory and like they have patience to and like they love to build a community and make it sustainable. Most of us, if not all of us, we got into this because we love making art and we will continue to make art till the day that we physically can't. We've been in this space for a long time and like our goal is to build this into something like healthy, sustainable for everybody and like grow it and keep pushing it, right?